Hello friends, uh, your boy Seth here taking a look at the demo for Europa, which um, I guess Shadow dropped during the uh, recent Indie World Showcase that we got. Looks kind of like a cool, serene, open world, maybe Zelda-esque thing. And uh, to be honest, I'm really mostly just curious to see how this thing is going to run on Switch. Because the it looks like it's a like a big open world, and the trailer made it look like it it runs pretty well. So uh, I'm actually looking forward to getting in here and seeing what's up. See what we got. Try to imagine what it will be like to go to sleep and never wake up. Now try to imagine what it was like to wake up having never gone to sleep. That was when you were born. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's a hell of a quote. Mm. Let me rephrase. Is it possible to be homesick from a place you have never been? A little, little more heady, I think, than I was expecting. Right, right off rip here. Let's stick to move. What is this? Adam my son I was born on earth but I think I have been homesick for Europa my whole life I'm writing this from the island the view from up here is like nothing else I've seen be to jump There's a little bit, you can kind of like charge the jump, it looks like. So even if you, even if you like tap the jump, it's kind of like delayed a little bit. But you can like hold and charge it, look at that. By the time you read this, I'll be gone. And the world Whoa, okay. Kind of blurry, but you know, that's to be expected. This is the Nintendo Switch we're talking about. So you can you can like hold B uh in air when you jump to do a little like glide. Very pretty in terms of like the music and like the tonality. I can kind of like glide along the the land here. That's pretty cool. Whoa. <laughs> well, we're uh, we're on something right now. I should say, of course, this is a demo of a game in progress, so we we might see bugs. Okay. Oh, is this like a Pinocchio kind of thing? Is that what's going on? Like a Pinocchio, my like son, I, I'm I'm his little I'm his little android time, boy. I ask myself, is it possible to miss something you've never known? We've well, heard all this already. Is it possible to be homesick for a place you've never been? Actually it sounds like alternate an alternate read. I've been homesick for Europa my whole life. I'm writing this little turtle? From the island. The view from Can I ride on the turtle? Like nothing else I've seen. By the time you read this, I'll be gone. And the world will look Let's go. different than how it does now. But Let's go. still be there. They built this thing to last. Come to the island if you ever get lonely. Come here and think of me. Okay, so there's like diary pages, 
scattered throughout the world, I guess. Okay. Whoa. You can definitely tell, like, they're they're having to play within the Switch's, like, limitations, right? But, I mean, like, it's not the prettiest game in the world. Like, there's definitely, you know, but, but like, the textures are kind of muddy and blurry and stuff. But look, man, uh, it is running just fine. Like, very solid frame rate. So they're they're they are making it happen, and I think that the the vibes are here, and that's like the important thing, right? I will say I already am like not concerned to read this journal whatsoever. Like I just want to explore. Give me the the less is more like sort of Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom approach. Let me loose. All right, let's get in here. What's going on in here? You get a little little HD rumble, you know, whenever you you land. Movement feels pretty good, like generally. Pretty music. It's definitely going for like a sort of, you know, Ghibli thing. All right. What do we got here? Jump and then press Y. Okay. Pretty straightforward stuff. All right. Whoa. There's a cool little... Those are cool little guys. Look at these little guys. Aw. Don't hide. Get up. <laughs> Y'all don't gotta hide. I'm friendly. Little butterflies. Z's Zephyr device allows him to levitate. Okay. I don't know what that means. Whatever that means. How do I use it? Oh, okay, interesting, okay. So that, that has, like, a charge. Crystal Stars expand levitation devices peak capacity. I see, okay. Now, does that basically just give me, like, the ability to, like, jump in a place where I normally couldn't or something? Because, like, I don't super see the difference between, like... That, I mean, like, you get a little extra height, I guess. I guess it, I guess it can keep you in air, right? So, like, in theory, I could kind of chain this stuff together. 
And I could probably, like, come over here, hit that. Yep, get extra height. Okay. I get it. Levitate. Use levitate and glide to stay in the air longer. Oh, there, there's your title screen. Very cool. Cool, like, world design. You know, curl, uh, cool, um, you know, movement and stuff. Like, uh, and yeah, like, it does run pretty well on Switch, even if it isn't, like, the best-looking game I've ever seen. It definitely, I don't know when this is supposed to come out. It could certainly use a little, like, uh, polish time. You can already kind of tell, like, the some of the camera angles and, you know, it, it could use a little more time in the oven. Um, like I said, I, I don't remember when this is meant to come out, but... Um, but still, overall, like, they, they do, they have something here. You can tell they're... They are cooking something here. I don't know what this little wisp thing is. Here we go. Also, I always like it when um, HUD elements are displayed like within within the game, like I, uh, you know, kind of like dead space or something. That's kind of what we got going on here with the uh, backpack. I don't hate that at all. Whoa. Find three wisps to unlock the trigger. Okay. So that's what we're doing. Maybe there'll be another one up here somewhere. Whoa. Finding journal pages all over the place. Whoa. Okay. I must. I feel like I must have missed a wisp somewhere because that sure feels like. <laughs> that sure feels like the end of the section. <laughs> Oh, is that it? Nice. Let's get it. Let's do it. Whoa. Cool. Yeah, you can just kind of glide around the world. What's going on over here? Somebody played Tears of the Kingdom. Look at these cubes. What is that? Collected one of seven emeralds. Okay. Mess that up. No! Midair correction is a little hard. Because the, um, the moveset is so, like, glide-focused, they... 
they do kind of expect that you're gonna like kind of commit to the jump when you make it. Um, so midair control is kind of not a thing, but it is when you're gliding. But when you jump, it's a little hard to course correct, which is fine. All right, let's go this way towards that blue light. Very calm, very cozy. There will be people who are way into this, for sure. And rocks falling all over the place. This place is in, in downright disrepair. Whoa. We're getting journal pages. Like crazy. What's up with this? Okay. Pretty straightforward. So far the puzzles have been pretty straightforward stuff. Whoa. Okay. Music's going crazy. I mean, this is pretty sick. Whoa! What the hell is that? What is that? Oh, I want to go fly next to it. Yes, bring me to it. I'm coming, bud. I'm on my way. I'm going 80 to 60. I'm coming. Yeah, I'm not going to catch up to it, am I? That's a cool monster. I want to fly next to it and hang out with it. Oh. Either we're in a new area or this is like an end of demo sort of video reel. Yeah, this feels like an end of demo video reel. That feels like what's happening. Pretty environments. Some of the stuff is, is really pretty, to be fair. Like, some of it is very pretty. If anyone can decide about tomorrow, it's you. Whatever you turn out to be, whoever you choose to become, it's your world now, Z. It's your future. 
Hmm. Okay. I mean, um, I'll be I'll be curious to see like what the the full game is is kind of like because I didn't feel like the the demo gave me a great it, g- it gave me a great sense of a few things like the the vibes are here the game runs pretty well on Switch even if it has some obvious visual drawbacks um, it does run just fine um, there's a whole lot of that sort of just like jumping around charging gliding flying. And that stuff feels pretty good. Um, I don't know how big this game is going to be, but I don't know if I necessarily want to, like, um, have that carry me through, like, a 30-hour experience. Um, but it's neat. Like, it's, like, it is, it is neat. It is neat enough. Um, I'm going to be curious to see, like, in that, in that kind of, like, trailer... Uh, It looks like we see, like, some proper dungeons and stuff. I kind of wish we would have gotten more of a taste for that in the demo. Because in the demo, like, it seems like they're just kicking you right into the beginning of the game in the demo. And you get a very, a few very, very simple, you know, sort of puzzles. But that's about it. Um, So I'll be curious to see, like, what the full game is like. Uh, Stay tuned. and, um, and, And we'll talk about it. If you've played the demo, let me know in the comments below. Um, and let me know what you think. Are you looking forward to Europa? Let me know. We'll probably talk about this more on our weekly Nintendo podcast. There's links to that um, in the video description as well. And um, stay tuned to the channel here uh, for more on Europa and uh, a whole lot of other Nintendo Switch indie games. Like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Before you head out, uh, I have been Seth with All In Media, and we will catch you all next time.